who are seeking office uh, to promote, uh, who are seeking office to promote all of these things, promoting peace, promoting stability, promoting self uh, clean government. So just make sure, you know, when you're starting to collect your, your database, your cards, um, something that's flexible for you, but that's going to be your main uh, communication. Some states is, who do you know who knows the governor who's going to make the decision? It's going to be up to you to do your homework, how influential those names will be in support of you. For every spot that opens up, whether it's a state, federal, local level, every position that opens up, you're going to have a ton of good people that want that job, if it's a good job. If it's not a good job, obviously, you're going to have to beg for people. We want to make the kid a better world. To be in a fair society and to contribute to society so their future generation will be better. So I kind of thought, you know, if I want to run for office, you know, what is it going to take? Well, the first step I think that's important is to get appointed to a local border commission. What you want to do is be very selective in what type of references and what type of community groups you get to support your candidacy. To be a candidate, you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your family. Does your family support you, especially if you have a spouse and you have kids at home? That is very, very important. Getting together, find one other person to speak or invite some, some speakers on every subject that providing election, providing appointment, and providing how to move up within the government. Those that doesn't, you know, is very shy, doesn't want to talk about your family background or your history or even your flaws, then people aren't going to resonate with you. lot today, uh, especially different way to serve our government, to serve our community, to advance our position in this great country. One recommendation or whatever that I would have is for us to go in, to go out there and motivate and influence the people around you to have them become more active in their affairs beyond themselves. I have confidence in this program. We're going to do more, we're going to do bigger, we're going to build a pipeline for the next generation and the generation after, okay? And I think we have to set up some vision. Yeah, folks come from a wide variety of experience and distances. And their number one goal was to bring people up who have been down there and tell them you can do it too. And believe me, that's very inspirational. We are America. This is a very, very fundamental philosophy to put it in our value system. If we don't love our community, if we don't love this country, we cannot win. If you want to serve the community, you have passion to love your city, love your community, love your kids. Uh, whatever it is, either run your community organization, or run for office, or give money, you can choose, right? 
this one is more high level. Maybe next time we can have more like a grassroots level, have teach more like a school board, city council, or some like a fire district boards, a water board, something like that. We're the unifying power. So what we started here today is fitting to start in Silicon Valley. This is the place to change how our country is going to work. It's going to change how the, the world is going to work. If you have a desire, don't be afraid. Just go do it.